Hey guys, so I've been using the S9 as my daily driver for a while now. And aside from one main feature, I don't know, man. Like when I watched the Unpacked event, I was like, boy, that sure looks familiar. <laughs> so metal rails and a glass back that seems to come covered in fingerprints right out of the box like it's a goddamn bonus feature or something. But you can't deny it still looks awesome when clean. Now, personally, I avoid the whole fingerprint thing by using my Rhino Shield solid suitcase and carbon fiber, which I think looks sick. It's also an awesome size for one handed use. Like for me, the iPhone 10 is the perfect size for my hands, but the S9 comes pretty damn close. We've also still got a headphones port, which is awesome, but I'm worried that over time, if Samsung ends up being the only one to continue including it in their phones, that stupid people might start thinking it's for staking in certain body parts, and then we'll have a whole other controversy on our hands. We've also still got the option for expandable storage, which you'll never hear me complain about, but it does raise the question, what the hell is all the other manufacturers' excuse for not including expandable storage? So something a little different this year is the dual speaker arrangement. Um, no, they're not dual front facing, so they'll sound nothing like the Pixel 2 or 2 XL, but they're not terrible. Two is always better than one, right? Just don't expect to be singing along to Michael Jackson's Beat It in the shower. I tried, it, it doesn't work on many different levels. It's just really hard to concentrate. <laughs> so the fingerprint reader on Samsung devices has always been a sensitive topic for me. Like every year they make a fingerprint reader that makes me want to throat punch myself, especially last year with the placement of it. But this year, I don't feel like punching anyone's throat. It's that good. But you know how they've included this new intelligence scan that uses facial recognition and iris scanning and pinning on the lighting or whatever? Yeah, that, uh, you know what, just use the fingerprint reader because that's, that's throat punching territory right there. <laughs> So, like every year, the display is probably the best out there, or at the very least, my favorite. So, 5.8 inches of Super AMOLED goodness that pretty much every other manufacturer wishes they could have. And they could if they all stopped being such cheap pricks. Uh, but yeah, it's still super colorful, super sharp, it's fantastic for outdoor visibility, and gets dark enough for me at night, which, believe it or not, is actually something I always look for in a display. <laughs> now, because of the aspect ratio, yeah, it's a taller phone, which is why I said the iPhone 10 is the perfect size for my hands, but hey, they did give us this one hand gesture to shrink the display, which comes in super useful, like, all the time. And I'm really good at using one hand. Know what I mean? And like every year, it comes with all the latest specs, so performance has been great. Every action, task, and app is as smooth as that one time I was in a mud wrestling match with an 87-year-old woman named Edna. It's great. And in case you were wondering, I won. No, I didn't. Okay, so the camera. Uh, this is that one main feature that I think really brings the S9 home. A dual aperture camera in a smartphone, in my opinion, is a game changer. Like if you're at all into mobile photography, this is the phone for you. Right, so we're still getting phenomenal quality photos, super sharp, super colorful, almost hyper realistic in some cases. But God damn it, what's up with the highlights in auto mode, man? Like in so many photos, the highlights are just a couple of ticks above what they should be. It's just, it's just too bright sometimes. So here's what I think's happening. Um, we've got an f1.5 and f2.4 aperture to play with. So in auto mode, it looks to see the scene's exposure and if it falls even just a hair below a certain threshold, depending on the exposure metering, it'll switch to the f1.5 aperture and let in slightly more light than necessary, causing a still clear but slightly overexposed image. And I notice it does the same thing when it's just ever so slightly brighter than the threshold and it'll switch to the f2.4 and again, and depending on the scene, produce a slightly darker than necessary image. Now, most of the time, pictures look more or less properly exposed, but if you do snap a shot in auto mode and aren't pleased with the exposure, that's what's happening. But throw it into pro mode, and now we're cooking, because you can control everything right out the gate. The front-facing camera, though, <laughs> Yeah, I'm not a fan. Uh, more often than not, it totally blew out the highlights. Selective selfie mode usually didn't work very well for me, and that wide-angle selfie mode sucks. Like, it's an awesome, awesome idea, and you can bitch and whine to me as much as you want defending it, but it sucks, and I think Samsung really needs to work on the whole selfie camera software some more. But you know what, at the end of the day, if like me, you prefer using auto mode because you don't feel like taking around with manual settings to get a great shot, Nothing, and I mean nothing, beats the Pixel 2 and 2XL. And if you want to fight about it in the comments, 
bring it on, mother. So battery life for me in the beginning was shit. Um, like I couldn't wait to hammer Samsung for shitty battery life in this review, but after a few weeks, it started to round out to okay. <laughs> Look, so here's how I judge battery life in case you were wondering. If a phone can last me a full day, as in last me until I go to bed, which is usually around midnight, then it's okay. If it lasts me until the next afternoon, it's good, and if it'll get me to the next evening, then it's great. With the S9, it'll last me a full day with usually about 20% left and like three to three and a half hours of screen on time. So that's not bad, it's not good, but not bad. But you know what makes it more not bad? Quick charging. So even if I forgot to charge it before I go to bed, when I wake up and make a coffee, I throw it on the charge, and by the time I'm out of the shower after trying to sing Michael Jackson's Beat It, it's ready to go. Now, just before I get to my final thoughts, I gotta give a shameless plug to the sponsor of this video, Rhino Shield. Now, I've been using and pimping Rhino Shield products for years simply because their cases have a proven reputation of protecting phones from serious drops thanks to its third generation shock spread polymer, which also allows them to keep their cases super thin at just three millimeters. And I've always loved how minimalistic they look. Like, I love their new solid suit cases. They look sick and they come in some awesome color options. There's carbon fiber and classic black, like I I have here. So I'll leave a link in the description below as well as a discount code if you want to use the same case I trust my Galaxy S9 with. So here's my final thoughts. If you're the type of person that takes a ton of pictures and wants the latest tech in your phone, with the dual aperture, uh, OIS and Pro Mode, the S9 could take your pictures to the next level, especially with the option to save photos as raw for some serious editing later. But if you're more concerned with battery life and consistently better quality photos in auto mode, maybe look at something like the Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL or one of the new Huawei phones like the P20 or Mate 10 Pro. In fact, now that I'm done with this review, I'm going back to my Pixel 2 XL. Well, I think that about does it for this one. I think. <laughs> As usual, I'll be hanging out in the comments for a bit if you guys have any questions or just want to say hi. Um, if you like the video, show me some love with that like button. And if you're new to my stuff, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that stupid bell icon for new videos every week. But thanks as always for watching and I'll talk to you on the next one. Cheers.